Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Darylin and today this is your second extra subscriber appreciation week video as a thank you for 5,000 subscribers. And we're gonna do something today that I have absolutely no business like running my mouth about, but um, somebody did actually DM me and give me this idea and they said that they thought it would be a good idea for me, the queen of clutter and neurodivergent chaos in my house to make a video talking about tips <laughs> to decorate your house. <laughs> Plant decor tips. Man, um that's like really funny to me like thank you so much for your confidence in me um but like I like you'll see why I think this is so funny clearly like whenever I show you guys parts of my house I am showing you an angle of them that I'm okay with people seeing I have you know either moved the clutter or like cleaned it up in a way that's like acceptable for people to see but like my actual whole house without me like rearranging things to make it filmable is not really like that that aesthetic or that cute I think a huge part of this is just that it's a small space there's two full-grown adults that live here and a dog and like a 100 plants and we both work remotely. I work full-time remotely and I run a YouTube channel out of this house. And then my boyfriend works remotely four days a week. So there's just like a lot going on here. There's a lot of stuff floating around. And you know, sometimes we just kind of have to like do what we can with the space that we can. And like, for me, I think a huge part of like what makes something aesthetic is it being not cluttered and like things kind of having like spaces that they go in that like doesn't obstruct stuff like I don't have that in my house another thing too is like okay this is a long tangent but I promise I'll actually like move along with this in a second but like another thing about this apartment that I can't stand is that it's laid out in a way that just like doesn't make any sense for like how a modern living room should be set up. Like obviously in a modern living room, you're gonna have a TV, but like this room is like, like so long that it's like too long to put the couch next to the wall, unless you had like a giant TV, but then like the wall where the TV obviously has to go isn't long enough for the TV to be big enough for the couch to be that far away. And then there's like, where do you put the tables? So like my couch is actually right here. The camera is actually on the couch and then my table's here. And it's just like, I hate the way this, this place is laid out. So, I mean, I think that that like is also makes it difficult, but I digress. Despite my aesthetically challenged, just constant state of being, I do have some things in my house that I like, that I do think are cute and that like maybe are a good starting point for somebody who could maybe take these things and like then do a better job with them. I don't know. But I just figured this would be a fun little thing to just like put up for fun for you guys. That's like not super serious. And also, uh, you know, the added benefit of me getting to show you my plants are some more of my plants. But yeah, so and also I said a couple of days ago that like, maybe I'll start filming more things out here. It literally took me two seconds to set up to film in here. When I film in my bedroom, it takes forever because I have to like put everything on my bed and like turn all my plants around. And like this took two seconds. So I'm very pleased. All right, like, cool. Let me show you like the few things I have in my house that I do think are aesthetic and like kind of give you like the reasons behind why I think they're cute and like maybe an idea of like how you could take it further. But yeah, so I guess the first thing that I want to show you guys is this, uh, this plant. Whoops, a daisy. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this whole plant. Okay. So this is my alocasia zebrina. And she is one of my bigger plants. I've had this plant for a long time. This is actually a good kind of segue to start because this is one of my bigger plants. And I do think that like once you start getting to the point where your plants get really big, it gets really a little bit more challenging to make them look cute because there's just like more logistics that go along with having big plants. Like you're more limited in what you can do because they don't fit as many places. There's less flexibility. The planters and things like that are a lot more expensive. And if your plants are in semi-hydro, it can be tough because it really limits like what you can do. So something that I really, really love that I've started doing and that's cost effective, at least for me, is that what I found is that baskets, 
So you've got this guy right here in this basket tend to be much, much more economical from like a size to price ratio than actual plant planters are. So what I have done with this plant, it was way too big for anything that I had, any self-watering planter that I had, because it had always been in self-watering, and it was too big to really do anything except put it in a plastic nursery pot. I wasn't gonna spend like over $100 on a planter for this. Like, I'm sorry, like I really like you. Mrs. Zabrina, but you were $17 at Whole Foods, so we're not gonna do that for you. But what I have done here is, so I planted this plant in just a regular old planter that was like a great size for it. And then I actually just lined this basket with a trash bag. <laughs> and she, yeah, she's living here from now on. And so, I also like underneath at the bottom of my pot, like this plant is an aeroid mix, but at the bottom of the pot, there's LECA. So that way, when I water her, if any of the water like drips into the trash bag, like the LECA is there and it can kind of like, you know, mitigate it so that the actual like soil of the plant's not sitting in stagnant water. I think that this looks really good. I think this is a great, like this would look awesome on like an end table or like a like a, a dresser height kind of piece of furniture. It would look so good. And so I think this whole situation, instead of paying like over a hundred dollars for some kind of planter or uh, like a super marked up plant stand, like I think this basket was probably, I got it at like TJ Maxx, you know, like a discount home decor store. I'm sure you could find tons of similar stuff at Home Goods or maybe even like Walmart, like anywhere that sells like cheap home home decor stuff. I got it on sale. I'm sure it was probably 15 or 20 bucks. Like definitely not like super, super cheap, more expensive than the nursery pot that probably costs like $2, but so much cheaper, like so much cheaper than trying to get a ceramic pot or like a self-watering planter that's this size. Like the biggest self-watering planters that I have that are not Lechuza brand, but that are just like the cheap brand from being online. They're like $40 a piece. And like, I'm sorry, like I, I, like I do okay. Like I live a comfortable life, but like I can't be out here shelling out $40 every single time one of these needy children needs to be repotted. So this is what we're going with. And I actually think that this is like money much better well spent than if I had got like some sort of ceramic planter situation. Because then even if you get the ceramic planter with the holes in the bottom, you have to figure out like how to catch the runoff. And it's just baskets, 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 baskets. There's always unlimited types and colors. And honestly, like, I feel like for the most part, baskets can pretty much gel with most design and decor styles and tastes like, cause they're pretty neutral, you know? Like you could just set this almost anywhere and like, it's not gonna really take you out of most design types, I guess. I don't know, like maybe if you're trying to go for something like really specific, like this wouldn't work. But I think in like most homes, well, it's just like normal homes, this is fine. This basket's totally fine. So I'm pretty pleased with how this looks. Like I really, I'm pleased with it. And I can definitely say that as I have more plants that get bigger and need larger situations, I'm definitely going to be revisiting this strategy to upsize some things because I just feel like it's effective, man. Like it's so much better than <laughs> the ceramic planters that I, a lot of times don't like, like don't come for me, like don't cancel me if you love the way that like ceramic planters from Home Depot look or whatever, but like they have, I think personally grandma vibes and I'm not ready to like give grandma <laughs> in my home decor yet. So I wanted something a little cuter. So I do think the baskets are a great idea. And like, here's another one that I've done that where I've done the same thing. So this is my Philodendron El Chaco Red. And this basket is not as nice as the other one. Like the other one, it's like, you can actually like pick up the plant without it like being a whole thing. This was just a cheap one from Amazon. I honestly think this was probably even cheaper than that basket. But I mean, it's just giving like I've covered up the nursery pot vibes. And if I like try to like pick it up like this, like you see how the basket kind of gives. But again, like this plant is in a nursery pot. It's like in like the biggest orchid pot that I could find, um, which, 
yeah, like if you're somebody that likes to keep your plants in clear orchid pots, like good freaking luck trying to do that once they start getting really big because it gets really tough to find anything like that once they get to be about like over like 10 inches, um, 10 inch pots. But here's the pot that this plant is in. It's like a really big, like the biggest nursery pot, clear orchid pot that I've ever been able to find. I, what I've done here, is I've just got this little basket and then I have this clear liner and I put that in there in the basket and then I can, I have LECA at the bottom. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but like there's some LECA at the bottom of this pot. And then that way, because this mix is super chunky, when I water the plant, if some of the water, you know, drains into the bottom of my basket, the liner catches it and then the LECA, you know, just takes care of it for me. And I don't have to worry about the plant getting root rot. And like, as you can clearly see, this plant is doing fine. You know, it doesn't look super, super sad about its lot in life. So I highly, highly, highly recommend baskets. The little liner dish tray thing I just showed you that's in this pot, you can get those at garden centers for like a dollar uh, or up to like three dollars for the really big ones. They have really deep ones like that one. They have ones that are a little bit more shallow depending on what you need. I love it. Honestly, like this looks so much better with this little boho basket than if it was just like a plain pot. Personally, from my opinion, like I do think that terracotta like is a vibe that does slap, but the only problem is that like terracotta vibes bring terracotta problems because you have to really know what you're doing and like, you know, configure your, your mix to be good for terracotta. And like, I personally have just had better success in the past with plastic than with terracotta because like the plastic breathes and I really like to use like an aggressively chunky mix for my uh, plants that are in aeroid mix. So for me, like aggressively chunky mix, bottom lined with LECA, plastic pot, drainage tray has worked really well. And I do have some plants in terracotta and like they're not, they're just not like sliving. <laughs> They're just not sliving. They're not living their best life and slaying at the same time simultaneously, as Paris Hilton likes to say. Oh my God. You guys, I've literally, I've become such a chronic, chronically online person and I need to like get out of my house sometimes and meet real people because normal people don't say sliving unironically. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, but anyway, I digress. So I think that like these two plants, I think they look so good. I love it. That's not to say that I don't also have plants in, you know, like more traditional kind of like ceramic pots. Like I don't have anything in this one right now, but like this is really cute. This was expensive though. And it does get kind of hard to find ceramic pots that are like that much bigger than this that are cute, that are not a million dollars. I would actually say it's like, pretty impossible. So while I do have some of these kinds of things and I do use them and I do love them and I do wish I could find more that were bigger, like your girl's in her financially responsible era these days and that's unfortunate. Um, it's not as fun as just like buying whatever you want and not worrying about it, but hey, you know what? Someday we wanna retire, so we gotta be responsible. So that's like my baskets. I, I really like them. Okay, so see, look, this is my couch. Like don't mind me with my squished life and I don't love how like cluttered and jumbled this little area looks. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't love it. But I do think that this little, little arrangement here is really cute. And if it was somewhere that was a little bit less cramped, it would look really, really nice. I really think that these rattan type pieces of furniture just look really lovely with plants. I think they look great. And then this little basket here, I think, you know, continues to carry the vibe. So cute. And then this is another little cash po basket that I've got this self watering planter in, which I think this, this plant looks really good with this basket. But as you can see, I'll turn it around so you can see, there's a self watering pot in there with pond. And I think that this looks freaking awesome, hiding the self-watering planter and like just blending this plant in with 
the little end table. I think it looks really good and I wish that it was able to be displayed somewhere a little bit more well integrated into the decor and the rest of the house with a little bit better flow, but it is what it is and I really like it. And eventually when I do get a bigger place, I will hopefully be able to do something decor wise that is more like integrative and flows better. Another thing, okay, so this, this planter, is really cute. I really like this. It's, you know, staying with the whole like basket kind of thing that I keep harping on, except for it's, it's like, you know, a plant stand and it looks really good. And this plant I think looks really good in it and on it. And it's the same thing as the Chaco. It's like the biggest clear orchid pot you could ever imagine. And it's in the little clear liner that I mentioned earlier. You can't see it, that was a waste. But it's in the liner and it looks really good. And then the other thing about this, I do think that like aesthetics, like keeping your plants actually looking nice and healthy is an important part of aesthetics. So like it's harder to control. It's like a more difficult variable, but I do think it's important. And like the reason that I'm able to have this plant on a moss pole in ambient humidity of like 55% without it just being completely like dry and hydrophobic, the moss I mean, because when moss dries out, it gets hy really hydrophobic, is that I have it on a pole and the back is actually covered in plastic. So it does a really good job of retaining that moisture and hopefully this plant will start to root into it. I put this plant onto this pole with a lot of pre-existing aerial roots. Um, so I'm really hoping that it will root in, but I have used this trick on some of my other plants that are like more established and it works really well. So uh, I DIY'd these cause I like had a lot of the supplies, but you can buy moss poles that kind of like are already kind of set up with this system and you can just add your moss to it. And I think it's a really great, you know, way to kind of like actually help you achieve the aesthetic look you want with the plants that you have. Because let me tell you, trying to get a philodendron to root into a dry moss pole in medium ambient humidity is freaking impossible. So I recommend getting some sort of system for philodendron moss poles that have like the enclosed back. It makes it about 20 trillion times easier to actually get them to do what you want. So little plant care tip to help with your aesthetic journey. So another thing that I think is really cute and that I recommend if you're trying to make your plant space aesthetic is getting a cabinet, but like make sure that you use it as a display case. Don't use it as a giant prop box. <laughs> I know that when these first came out, like there were lots of videos of like people like modding them out to have like drawers and like shit and don't do that. Like it doesn't look good. The pegboards that they, you know, advertise like eventually they start to get nasty from being in the humidity. I don't think that like the wire racks that go in the back of them look good. What I think looks good is use the cabinet as a display case have the things in there in pots that kind of coordinate. So you have like kind of got like white pots going on and maybe consider, you know, a statement color. Like I got this blue one because I got a deal on it. I really wasn't thinking blue when I was thinking about like which cabinet I wanted to get. I was probably gonna get the Millsbo wide in white because <laughs> I'm basic, but I got a chance to get this blue one for a huge discount. It was only $75. I got it from my local plant group for $75. And if you know, these go for over 200 from Ikea new, and then you still have to put them together. That's what, like, like 65% discount or something. So I scored. But I do think that I actually like the blue better than I would have liked the white. I like that it's like kind of a statement piece. I like that it's like, it's a different color. It's like, it is a pop of color, but it's like still muted. I would highly suggest like, if you're still thinking about getting a cabinet, maybe think about getting one in a statement color because I wouldn't have done that if this hadn't come up and I really like it. I think it's better than it would have been if I'd got what I originally thought I wanted. But yeah, I think that the reason that I really like the way this looks especially too is because this is just mostly a display case. Everything in there 
looks pretty good. I, I do have the one varicosum in there that doesn't look good, but I'm gonna fix that, don't worry about that. And I'm not gonna keep that in there forever. I'm gonna find something else and switch it out so that it, it still looks nice. I really think that this looks nice. I think that the blue cabinet, in the green with the plants and it contrasts. I really, really like it. I like how kind of like clean and like, dare I say snatched, um, she's giving chronically online, how just snatched it looks. I, I really like it, you know? And I don't, I like to have just like the plants I wanna look at and I wanna see in here. And I have my garbage that needs to be rehabbed in my grow tent. So highly recommend having somewhere to throw all the stuff that looks terrible. If it's a grow tent, then that's great. If you have like prop bins or something that you can hide away somewhere that still gets good light, perfect. I definitely think that like keeping your cabinet as just a, a display case and not putting the pegboard in and not putting the wire racks in is better. And then if you can figure out a way to like do the rockscaping, those look really, really cool. But I actually did see one of those in person recently. And the thing about it is that like, they get really grody from like all the water and like all the stuff in there. Like, I don't know if rockscaping a cabinet in the long term, like I don't know if a cabinet is the, the correct vessel for rockscaping, but I do like the ones that I've seen pictures of. So I'm not saying it's impossible, but I do think that like keeping your cabinet like streamlined, keeping it a display case is like a huge win for aesthetics. And then the other thing I really like about the Fabricore is that you can like look in the top of it. And so now I can look in at all my cute little seedlings on my little buddies whenever I want. Okay, so then another thing I have in here that I actually think is really nice to look at that I really like is this shelf up here. These, this shelf, I put these in when I first got here to this apartment back in 2018. 2019? No, it had to have been 2019. Yeah, back in 2019. And when I first got them, there were a lot less plants on them, but I did start out with some plants and I really like displaying plants on these shelves in like a mixed shelf. So like what I mean is like more than just plants, but I think that the shelves with that, they're the wood. These have gold accents on them too, which I really like and like the gold hardware. Look really good with the dark green plants. I have just like a basic pothos. I have a mandula here. And then over there I've got an anthurium vitarifolium and my anthurium magnificum. I think it looks really good. I think it looks really nice, but I think <laughs> you can't see me, I'm short. But I think that this looks pretty nice. And I actually think it looked nicer uh, before some of these plants like kind of started growing like too much. Like you can't even see what's behind the Vitar folium at this point, which is too bad because it's cool. And it's these taxidermied butterflies. And then two of my favorite books, I just stuck them under there to prop it up and like make it a little bit even more aesthetic and dynamic. But I actually made this. I made this. I like taxidermied these butterflies and put them in here myself. I'm definitely not saying that you need to like go out and learn how to taxidermy butterflies on your own. <laughs> that was like, that's just not something that's gonna be like for everybody to do, but like you could find something, buy something like this, totally. So look for things that are not plants that look nice with the plants. You know, kind of like work them into a little mixed display shelf. I think personally, taxidermied insects look really good next to plants. But we've also got some other stuff up here. Like this is little knickknack. That was my boyfriend's that I just like, we stuck it on the shelf. And then like these little masks back there, we got on a trip to Mexico. So they're like souvenirs. There's some other stuff over here that you probably can't really see that well, but it's just like other travel souvenirs and things like that. I think makes a really nice mixed shelf. And I do think that this one looks, is looking a little chaotic. There's a lot going on on here. So like ideally, like if I was a decorator, I would probably tone this down like significantly. Um, but I think in theory, you know, the idea is good. I would put something on top of this, you know, self-watering planter. I think the idea like in theory is still there and it's still good. So I like this like mixed shelf. And then also like, it doesn't hurt that like my elbow is right there. She's been looking pretty cute lately. All right, so here we are in another part of the house. I honestly think I've only ever showed this area in like one video like two years ago because it's annoying to set up to film here. But this is the corner that's like 
literally about 10 feet away from where I was just filming. And I really like it. This is probably like the least obviously planty place in my whole house. And I think it's cute. Um, it's difficult for me to show you like really what I have going on here because <laughs> there's just a lot of stuff. See, look, like this is like, why? Like, I don't, I don't know how to make things look aesthetic. I just, all I know is clutter. But anyway, I have this really cute little wine bar that is like a corner wine bar that I freaking love. It is the things that my like mid-century modern clutter-free lizard brain just like drools for. I love this. This is like absolutely my favorite piece of furniture that I have in my house. I think it's timeless. I think it's really beautiful and I love it. It is definitely not like an antique or anything. It's literally just from, what's that website called? Wayfair, something like that. But I love this piece. I think it's really beautiful and I think that it blends in with plants. Like I could put anything on it that I wanted to and I think it would look really good. That piece and then I also have this large, um, piece of art behind me. This is just from World Market. Like, don't sleep on World Market. Like, they have a lot of really cool stuff and their vibe is very boho. So a lot of times they have a lot of stuff that looks good with plants. I, I love World Market, especially if you can find something there on sale. You join their little explorer, uh, what is it called? Their little like rewards program and you get like kind of a lot of coupons. So if you're trying to like redecorate your house on a budget, I would highly suggest checking out world market but I really like this painting I think pink and green and gold and brown oh you can't see but like okay so like the pink in the painting and then the gold in the frame and the gold in the hardware and then the brown of this and actually I have a gold picture frame here and I have some gold like stuff on these little knickknacks. And then this is brown. Like I think it all goes together really, really well. I personally like that color combination. And I think that if it wasn't for the fact that this area is so cluttered, like if this was just like a corner in an office or like a corner and maybe like a larger living room, I think I would love it. I think it would look really nice. I'll just, I guess like just show you the things about it that I like. Um, I have more butterflies, which these, I don't know that I would keep these here if I was really going to maximize the aesthetic right here. I don't think I would keep this exact butterfly here because it's in like a barn wood frame and then it's also got this like kind of china pattern like blue the colors of the butterflies are fine but like I just don't think this piece like really jives here that well this was something that I made for somebody like a long time ago and then like long story short I didn't end up giving it to them because they ended up being like kind of a meanie a meanie pants so I didn't give I didn't give this to them but I still have it I like it I'm I don't I think I'll probably keep it I don't know what I'm gonna do with it in the long run, but as for right now, it's here. I don't think that this is exactly the one that I would pick to go here. If I was gonna go back and do it over again, I would probably try and like go to, maybe go to paper source and like look for, you know, a piece of paper that I really thought looked good. And I would probably try and find a frame, maybe a gold frame, and then probably choose a paper that was like green and more foliagey, maybe like ferns or something, and then get butterflies that were like, like brown, I don't know. I would do something different. Maybe I'd have to play around with it a little bit, but I do think that if it looked a little bit more tied in with everything, this would look better. But the other thing I do like about this right here in this corner is that you could literally put any plant here that you wanted to, as long as you committed to giving it light. Um, this plant, this is fake. This plant's fake. I put so many plants on this shelf up here. I tried so many plants back in the day. This is just another like mixed shelf. Got some books. Uh, this is a travel souvenir from Korea. It's like a vintage ceramic oil lamp that's like a lotus that I thought was really beautiful when I visited Korea. So I got that as like my aesthetic decor souvenir on my trip to Korea a couple of years ago to visit my sister. This plant is fake because it literally, nothing survived here. I tried a couple different pothoses. I tried Peperomia, Ahoya. There were a bunch of things that like, it was an attempt was made for them to sit here and I just gave up and I got this fake one. It's fake. 
it is okay <laughs> to have a fake plant in your house, you know, especially like this one, it nobody ever notices that it's fake. It's up in this dark corner. I think it's just, it's better to just, you know, know your limitations. And I hadn't moved this in like years. And so it was like all artfully arranged. And now it's like, probably doesn't look as good, but oh well. So like you could pretty much put any plant here you wanted as long as there was enough light. But like you could just have a corner that had better light than this and like take all these principles, but like you have better light. So like that doesn't apply. I really like the way that this planter looks with everything that I've got going on here. This Raphidophora cursiva is not used to being in this spot. So it's not like facing where you can actually like see it that well. But I think if it did, it would look really nice, but you could put any plant you want in here. Since this is such a dark corner normally, I'd probably pick something that's a little bit brighter color to like, you know, break it up. But I think it looks good. And then, you know, I've got like this vase here. I really like this. It's like kind of got this like copper gold situation going on. I got this at a flea market. Like flea markets and thrift stores and farmers markets and discount home decor stores are all gold mines for stuff that like I use, honestly. Like I, I really like all this stuff. So, and then I think I'm gonna wrap it up cause I gotta go to a barbecue later. That's why, that's why I'm not wearing lipstick. I love a sleigh, but like I can't, I can't do lipstick at a barbecue. If you, if you wear lipstick to barbecues, like, queen. I just can't do it. So I'm going to take you and show you like two other things and then it'll be time to go. For all you fans of Ralphie out there, there he is. Look at him. He's so cute. His mommy's little prince. Just a baby. So cute. But yeah, in case you're kind of wondering like how the whole like room comes together, like I just basically showed you this part of my back wall, which I don't think looks that good. It's all cluttered like that. But like I said, individually, there's elements of it that I do like. Okay, so now we're gonna go to my kitchen, which is just like, ugh, you know, kitchen vibes. It's not very cute. I don't know that I've ever actually showed this on the channel before, so I'm gonna show it to you and it doesn't look aesthetic at all. It actually looks like an actual mess, but I actually have a second big Chaco like pot on a pole and it's finally getting to the point where it is starting to settle in and it gave me this leaf a couple weeks ago and there's already another one. So I'm really excited to see if I can get this plant to size up and look as good as the other one. That'd be like crazy to have two big Chacos like that. <laughs> Probably excessive, but it's, yeah, it's got one of those like little plastic liners around the bottom and I should put it in something cuter. I just haven't gotten around to it. But the thing I wanted to show you in here <laughs> is over here. Yeah, none of this like looks that cute, except for if you zoom way, 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 way in. I think this little picture in the gold frame of the Sharpay on a hippopotamus with a little philodendron varicosum growing around it, I think that's cute. I think that that has potential to look really cute. Even though the rest of the kitchen is questionable, I do have that one little cute thing in here going for myself. So I wanted to show you that. Okay, last thing, pardon my lighting. It's egregious. I don't feel like moving the lights in here. It's a pain in the ass. But the last thing I wanted to show you is how I've got my second elbow set up. I think this is so cute. I think what I've done here is really cute. I, it appeals to me. At least I like it. Um, I'm a fan, but what I've got is another basket. Let me, maybe I can like scoot it a little closer. You can see it a little better. I'll scoot it a little closer. Um, that like didn't really make it easier to see. Okay. We're just gonna roll with this. Um, but the, what I've done here is I've got another basket and I got this at Home Goods, And this is not like an antique, like, you know, it's honestly, it's not even made out of real wicker. Like the wicker is made out of plastic, but I really like it. I think it's really beautiful. And then it hides this giant lechuza pot 
which is white, which I think it looks pretty good. And then I've got it on this wicker plant stand. And I found this at a, a flea market a year before I actually had anything to use it for, but I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I absolutely need that. And I think actually what it is, whoa, don't fall please. I think actually what it is, is that it was an ottoman for like a, a rattan furniture set. And like you would have put a pillow on top of it, but at the flea market I found it at, it was just by itself. And I think I bought it for like 30 or 40 bucks or something, which is like a pretty good price for like vintage antique wicker furniture. Like this is definitely vintage. This is plastic, but whatever, it still looks fine. So it's, it, it works. But um, I think that this looks really good. I love the way that this elbow looks in here. I think this looks awesome. And I think that if, you know, by itself, I like it, but I think if it was, it there was more space and it was with some other stuff that all kind of like blended together and like play off each other, this would look sick. So this is yet another item in here that like, I like it individually. I don't have the best, you know, arrangement of everything all together because this house is very small and very lived in. But I like this and I'm proud of this. And eventually when my boyfriend and I are able to purchase a house, hopefully, and have a place that's our own that is a little bit more spacious, I am gonna be so excited to decorate it because I have a lot of things I already like a lot and I can, you know, I can put them in there. So that is kind of pretty much it for me it's all i got for you on this on this topic but i hope that you're enjoying getting spoiled a little bit and i will see you in my next one bye